Mariposa by the Peach Tree Rascals is going to be played in standard tuning and it comes out of uh, an E chord progression. This is an extremely chordy song and it relies on a bar chord f formation. So um, if you're an absolute beginner, this might be difficult to pull off, but I mean, practice will get you anywhere. So this is going to walk you through how to make these chords uh, so that you can mimic the sound and the progressions that you hear on the recording. Of, uh, or, or by Peachtree Rascal. So the first chord is going to be an E chord. I've got my first finger on the five string seven fret, my ring finger on the four string nine fret, my pinky finger on the three string nine fret, and I'll be strumming from the open six string basically down to the three string. And that's basically the strumming pattern for almost the whole song. Down, 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 up, down, up, down, 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 up, down, up, down, 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 up, down, up. And you want to have a really kind of tight, controlled strum here uh, because there's not a whole lot of like ringing, ringiness happening to these chords. There's not a lot of openness and ringing, so I keep just a very tight staccato strum. Down, 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 up, down, up, down, 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 up. So, out of that E chord. That's the first one. And then the second one moves to this chord. Your first and your ring finger are going to stay in the same position for the entirety of this E chord. But your second finger now will go down on the four string, I'm sorry, on the three string eight fret. So we've basically taken our three string, which had been at the nine fret with our pinky, and lowered it one fret to our second finger on the eight fret. Down, 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 up, down, up on that. And then we're going to lower our third string one more fret to where you will bar with your first finger uh, the, the five string on the seven fret. Your ring finger is still on the four string nine fret, but now your bar of your first finger is grabbing the three string seven fret. So we've gone all within this E chord. Once you get there, you can hear keys or piano or something kind of do that little suspended move right there. So that would be put your pinky finger down on the two string 10 fret, strum that across that once, and then bring your pinky finger down one fret to the two string 9 fret, all the while leaving your last chord shape in fashion right there, uh, which is basically like an E7 chord and then we'll bring it to that and then we're going to go to a type of an A chord which you can play it as like an A bar chord either your first finger just barring across the fifth string with your ring finger on the five string seven fret pinky finger on the four string seven fret second finger on the three string six fret but I tend to just kind of play it with my thumb grabbing that six string five frets. So whichever way is easiest for you. You don't necessarily have to do a full bar here because all you want to be ringing out is either string six through three or strings five through three depending on how you're shaping this chord. But down, 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 up, down, up once on the A and then we're going to go to an A, I think this is major seventh. So what I've done is I'm now just fretting uh, the four string with my first finger on the 6th fret and the 3 string with my 2nd finger still, which it would have been in that position anyway from the A chord. 3rd um, string with my 2nd finger on the 6th fret. And I'm opening up the 5 string. So we're going... And then in the intro to this song, the next chord tends to be a version of an A minor, I think. The way that I hear that A minor getting made is to put your ring finger and your pinky finger on the same fret, but different strings. Your ring finger is on the four string uh, seven fret. Your pinky finger is on the one string seven fret. And then your first finger is barring strings three and two in the middle on the fifth fret. So you hear like a one, two, three, four on that chord, and then on the next strum, the five, you pick up your first finger, or not your first finger, you pick up your pinky finger off of that first string, and you let your first finger 
uh, continue to hold down that bar and now that bar is grabbing the one string five fret and that brings us to the end of the first round where we lead back into the E with that little lick. That would be uh, first finger on the three string nine fret and then hammer on with your ring finger to the three string 11 fret. And then go back to your first finger on the nine fret and then repeat that, that movement just on now the four string. So nine fret to 11 fret first and ring fingers on the third three string, now jump to the four string. Do the same thing, first finger on the four string nine fret hammer to your ring finger on the 4 string 11th fret and then we'll go with our ring finger to the 11th fret of the 5 string first finger to the uh, 9 fret of the 5 string and then come down to the 7th fret of the 5 string which puts us back into this E chord where we do basically the same thing again there's a little bit of a change that happens um, in this part sometimes I hear it going uh, starting high and going down. Other times I hear it starting down and pinky finger raising up one fret in that chord. So either way you want to do that. And then back to the A chord, to the A major seven. And then uh, the rest of the time I feel like it goes to this chord, which is a version of a D seven chord. You've got your first finger on the five string five fret, your ring finger on the four string seven fret. Your first finger will be barring the five fret of the three string. And then your pinky finger goes down on the uh, two string seven fret. And then the lick again. So you've got variations of that happening as like verse and chorus. Whenever we get to the bridge, and then it just kind of repeats like that for the whole way. Whenever we get to the bridge, the chords tend to open up a little bit more. So you might want to actually just single strum those chords. Um, but the second time through the bridge, there's a new chord that gets introduced, which is... So the second time through the chorus, you would do the walk down on the E, but then you would go to a C sharp major that is suspended with whatever note that is, an F sharp in it. And then you bring that down to the F. So the way that you would play that chord would be first finger on the five string four fret, ring finger on the four string six fret. Your first finger will be barring the third string on the four fret. And then your pinky finger needs to go down on the two string seven fret. And then you lower your pinky finger to the two string six fret similar to what we did down here in this E except for now we're doing it in a C sharp major and then we go back to our A and instead of going to the A major 7 here what I hear it doing is going to like an A9 chord which adds in a B note uh, so the way that I'm doing that is just the regular A chord down 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 up, down up but then raising my pinky finger up to the four string nine fret. Okay, so I actually got a phone call right in the middle of trying to explain that. So I was talking about how to play this A9 chord. It's basically your first finger on the six string five fret, ring finger on the uh, five string seven fret, and pinky finger on the four string nine fret. Then after that A7 chord, I hear it going back into that uh, version of a D7 chord that we played from earlier and then right back into the that choppy walk down from E to the E major 7 to the, I guess that's an E major, uh, e, e dominant 7 that it goes to. And those are the chords and the movements. Uh, the way that I hear them, there could be a few uh, more nuances to it that I'm I'm missing, but for the most part, I think that definitely gets you 99% of the way there. Uh, so those are the chords and the movements to Mariposa uh, by the Peachtree Rascals. Hopefully this gives you an idea of how to approach the song.